As a teacher, my role was to hold lectures and coordinate the program. Compared to the ordinary teaching activities, a CBL project requires more cooperation between teachers from different disciplines. In my case, they were from law, political science, geology, and psychology. I also cooperated with some non-academic non stakeholders, including NGOs and local institutions. The CBL format allowed me to touch upon topics and situations well beyond my comfort zone of expertise. I felt involved in the same learning process as the students and shared some of their difficulties and enthusiasms while developing their research and projects. The CBL format encourages students and teachers to interact in planning practical details of the projects and cooperating more democratically. The most important competencies I had to develop uh, were related to a form of transdisciplinary thinking. In designing and implementing the CBL program, I have to figure out uh, and then test with colleagues and stakeholders how subjects and disciplines could intersect and impinge upon one another. In a sense, this is opposite of what we usually do in regular classes. Most of the time, our concern is not to overstep the colleagues' course, showing that they are all over, the overall curriculum is well balanced and has no gaps or uh, duplications. Uh, instead, in CBL, many times the learning output is the consequences of redundancy, while redundancy stimulates creativity. We also have to learn to give more spaces of maneuver to students and encourage them to think big. Of course, this may again backfire because some projects may prove unrealistic. Also, I would say supporting students and managing their frustrations can help, uh, can, can be a valuable competence for teachers involved in the CBL.